Underneath all of this test equipment, a piece of automotive history is being made. This is a prototype of the Thermopower, a radically new internal combustion engine that looks set to reduce the carbon emissions of some of the most heavy-duty diesel vehicles by 20%. Funding from the Advanced Propulsion Centre means it can now also run on hydrogen. OK, let's start firing one. This is really exciting uh, because this is the first new type of internal combustion engine cycle since Frank Whittle and the jet engine. Some of what we've learned about conventional engines just doesn't work on this one. So, so it really is a voyage of discovery. What's happening there on the test bed behind me, that will teach us something new today that we had not understood before. And that, that's really, really exciting. So what's special about this engine is it uses a brand new cycle to improve efficiency by 20% and reduce the creation of harmful NOx gases that regular internal combustion engines produce during combustion. But how does it work? So this is the thermopower engine. What we do is we take the hot and cold processes of a normal engine and split them in two. Cold here to compress the air, hot here to combust and expand the air. In between the two, we recycle all the heat that's in the exhaust of a normal engine through this recuperator here so that that energy goes back into the process. That gives you really high efficiency, up to 55%, and also a very clean combustion process that is very low in NOx emissions, which is really important. The thermopower was designed to reduce diesel consumption and therefore carbon emissions by 20% for some of the hardest to decarbonise sectors, like heavy goods vehicles. Truck manufacturer Iveco bought Dolphin N2 and will roll out the technology worldwide in their vehicles. The Advanced Propulsion Centre funded a study to see if the engine could also run on hydrogen. We received a grant from the APC for a project called Rearmed. It allowed us to demonstrate that what we could do on diesel, we can also do on hydrogen. So the combustion system of the engine producing high efficiency and very low emissions, especially of NOx. And we were able to validate that and that has kick-started our hydrogen activity. The Advanced Propulsion Centre funding has provided Dolphin N2 and their customers with a seamless pathway from 20% CO2 reduction to 100% in sectors where there's currently no other viable solution. It now feels that we've got a forever solution, to be honest, um, for, 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 for heavy freight, but also for, for, for multiple other sectors, including agriculture, construction and marine as well. What the APC funded research has shown is that the thermopower running on hydrogen is more efficient than even a fuel cell when working at high power. At a high load, any power uh, conversion device will be using 10 to 20 times more fuel than it is at light load. So it's, it's at high load where the efficiency really, really counts. That's where it makes the difference. The diesel version of the thermopower is likely to be adopted very quickly as it will deliver immediate cost savings. And as the hydrogen economy develops, Adoption of the zero carbon version of the engine will be accelerated by reuse of much of the same supply chain, distribution and maintenance infrastructure. In terms of adoption, this really is almost a no brainer. Um, uh, there are, uh, unlike other technologies which may require investment in infrastructure, may impact operations, may in fact cost you more through life of the vehicle, this will save you money through life of the vehicle uh, and it's, it's literally a drop-in solution using existing infrastructure. So the thermopower engine will allow 44-tonne trucks, combine harvesters and excavators to immediately reduce their carbon emissions by 20%. Advanced Propulsion Centre funding has provided a method to use the same technology to get to zero carbon for some of the most difficult to decarbonise sectors.